told you, I go to Ventanita probably six days a week. You know, you have to rest one day at least. It really is the cornerstone of being social here in Miami. This is where all these cultures mix. 9 a.m., Café Cubano comes around. 12 o'clock, Café Cubano comes around. 3 p.m., Café Cubano comes around. Miami runs on Café Cubano. You know, there's so many different pockets in Miami. The first thing that comes to mind is Ocean Drive, right? I mean, Miami Beach really stole for so many years, you know, the spotlight. But then you have Wynwood. I mean, Wynwood is one of the largest open museums in the world. Think about the design district and the public art installations that you find there. Even the parking lot is a piece of art. I mean, you want to really absorb what Miami culture is all about, you will find it in the hearts of the people that have been in the neighborhood since the 60s. You know, locals were proud of our coffee. And there's one, one thing that you won't find anywhere else in the world is the Café Cubano and the way we prepare it in Miami. A Cubano or colada is just the shot of coffee, much like a shot of espresso with a lot of sugar. You know, they stir the coffee very, very fast. A good colada is the one that has a foam that people think, oh, that's milk. It's just because that person who made the coffee knows what they're doing. So a ventanita is an open window and they serve through the window. In Little Havana, there's two ventanitas for Café Cubano per block. You pay less than a dollar for a Café Cubano in Miami. Supermarkets, laundromats, everywhere. I mean, it, it is really part of the culture. I will say the magic of Café Cubano is that it opens the conversation. Cuban coffee, it's meant to be shared. If you're pouring a Café Cubano, you're inviting other folks to come and talk to you. Everyone knows that when you go to La Ventana, you're gonna get a coffee, you're gonna have a nice conversation, whether it be with your friend, a colleague, a potential client, your girlfriend that you haven't seen since high school. Oh my God, I can't believe I just saw you here. You know, growing up in Miami, it just becomes part of the thing to do. Es un rito cultural para nosotros, específicamente los cubanos. En Miami se resuelven todos los problemas del mundo y de política, especialmente aquí en esta quinita. Versailles, it's a landmark for this city. It taught many other places the importance of keeping the tradition alive, and they do it so well. I can tell the perfection of the coffee, you know, just by the foam. Yeah. Uh, um, la espumita. Uh, la espumita, yes, right? Yeah, it's like yeah. we bow to the espumita. <laughs> we know it's a good cafe cubano when it's the espumita. You yeah. know, I'm always super curious. Tell me about the hardcore clients that come throughout the years. Why are they so in love with Versailles? We have a large group of our of our customers or people have been coming to Versailles since we opened. There's people that come to La Ventanita every single day. Parents would come here, their grandparents come here, now they come here. A lot of people left Cuba and this has become kind of like their second home. So Max just turned eight months and his pediatrician said he's free to eat anything. So I said, Max, Versailles croquetas. And here we are today. And so we want to instill in our family and our kids our roots. And this is the place to do it. Everybody loves the ladies of yes. the Ventanitas, right? Is Everyone there? has their favorite lady. Everyone, they're famous. From politicians, they come, they have their shot of Cuban coffee at the window. The Ventanitas just become a part, really, of Miami. My grandfather had cafes and restaurants in Cuba. And when he got here, he started working selling restaurant equipment. He convinced 
the owner of the company. Look, there's an influx of Cubans that are coming to Miami. This is the coffee we drink. I think it would be a good idea. And the guy said, okay, well, you handle that side of the business and, you know, let's see how it goes. And my grandfather just went around opening up these little windows and they've kind of just taken off. And, and now you can't go anywhere in Miami without finding a ventanita. You know, hopefully we'll be around for another 50 years and hopefully one day we'll be able to open up a Versailles in a free Cuba. But, you know, just kind of continue on with our recipes, our traditions, our food, our coffee for the city, for the community. Salud with the best Cheers. Buen provecho. Gracias. I mean, Café Cubano runs the city all day long. At 3.05, everybody in Miami at the offices are like, who's going for the colada? You'll find a Café Cubano, you know, at 3 o'clock in the morning, when all the bars and everything is closed, there's gonna be a ventanita open for sure. You're not going to find the Ventanitas and the Café Cubano that you find in Miami anywhere else. It's what makes Miami so different from other cities.